India, a country rapidly progressing, has recognized the importance of robust infrastructure development. Infrastructure, the backbone of any thriving economy, plays a pivotal role in India's growth narrative. It not only propels economic development but also enhances living standards, making cities more livable and rural areas more accessible. One such monumental infrastructure project is the Trans Harbour Link project. Sprouting from the heart of Mumbai, this marvel of engineering aims to bridge the gap between Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. The Trans Harbour Link project, a testament to India's infrastructure prowess, promises a future of seamless connectivity. The inception of the Trans Harbour Link project can be traced back to the 1960s with the vision to bridge Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. The need for better connectivity between these two bustling regions was evident even then, as the population expanded and the economic activities intensified. The idea to build a sea link was proposed, but the path to realization was far from smooth. Several attempts were made to initiate the project, but they all fell short due to a variety of challenges. The complexities of planning and executing such a large-scale infrastructure project were immense. From securing the necessary environmental clearances to arranging the colossal funding required, the task was daunting. Despite these obstacles, the dream of a sea link persisted. The Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation, or MSRDC, took the reins and conducted extensive feasibility studies. However, the project's execution was stalled due to issues ranging from financial constraints to ecological concerns. But the seed of this ambitious project had been sown and it was only a matter of time before it would sprout. The turning point came in 2008 when the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority or MMR Day took over the project from the MSRDC. The project was then awarded to a consortium led by Reliance Energy and Hyundai Engineering and AMP Construction. This marked a new beginning in the journey of the Trans Harbour Link. After many hurdles, the project was finally awarded to a consortium led by Reliance Energy and Hyundai Engineering and AMP Construction in 2008. The Trans Harbour Link project is not just a bridge, but a marvel of modern engineering. Stretching over 21.8 kilometers, it will be the longest sea bridge in India, connecting the bustling city of Mumbai with Navi Mumbai Raigad. This under construction road bridge, also known as the Sayuri Nava Sheva Trans Harbour Link, will start in Sayuri, South Mumbai, cross Thane Creek, and end at Churli near Nava Sheva. With a width of 27 meters, it will accommodate six lanes of highway traffic with additional emergency exit lanes and other safety features. This colossal project is the brainchild of a consortium led by Reliance Energy and Hyundai Engineering and AMPA Construction. The Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority, or MMRDA, has taken on the responsibility of bringing this ambitious project to fruition. But this bridge is more than just a feat of in engineering, it's a solution to a pressing problem. Mumbai, a city teeming with commerce and life, has long been plagued by traffic congestion. The Trans Harbour Link is expected to alleviate this issue significantly, reducing travel time and facilitating smoother transportation for approximately 70,000 vehicles daily. This project is not just about convenience, but about fueling economic growth. It's expected to have a significant positive impact on commerce, enabling quicker transportation of goods and people, thus bolstering the economy of this vibrant region. Once completed, the Trans Harbour Link will serve as a lifeline for millions, facilitating easier and quicker transportation. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity and a symbol of India's relentless march towards progress. Like any massive infrastructure project, the Trans Harbour Link project faced its share of challenges and environmental considerations. From the onset, environmental activists voiced their concerns about the project's impact on the habitat of migratory birds and other ecological factors. In response, the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority, or MMRDA, committed to mitigating environmental impact. Measures such as the construction of sound barriers and view barriers were put in place to address these concerns. As for challenges, the project experienced several hiccups. From the initial planning stages in the 60s to the eventual award of the project to a consortium led by Reliance Energy and Hyundai Engineering and AMP Construction in 2008, there were various unsuccessful attempts to get the project off the ground. Criticism was also faced for the slow pace of implementation. 
However, the determined team remained undeterred, overcoming these obstacles with resilience and dedication. Although the journey has been fraught with challenges, the commitment to the project's success has never wavered. As we stand today, the Trans Harbour Link project is steadily progressing towards completion. This monumental infrastructure endeavour, set to be the longest sea bridge in India, is currently under construction, charting a 21.8 km path from Mumbai to Navi Mumbai Raigad. The project, estimated at a whopping 17,843 crore rupees, is making headway with a targeted completion date set for December 2023. With each passing day, the dream of a six-lane highway, equipped with emergency exit lanes and other safety features, inches closer to reality. Already, the project has achieved significant milestones, marking the steadfast commitment of the consortium led by Reliance Energy and Hyundai Engineering and Ampi Construction, as well as the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority. Yet, it's not just about the present. Looking to the future, this project carries the weight of expectation. With a projected daily traffic of 70,000 vehicles, it promises to revolutionize connectivity, significantly reduce travel time and open new avenues for commerce and growth. With the promise of transforming transportation in India, the Trans Harbour Link project is a beacon of progress and development.